He promised to take me to see the reactor. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. I want to become strong just like you. Try to stay behind me. I can cover your back. Glad that's over. Piece of cake. Let's go. Kind of in a rush, so... <laughs> Bring it. We're going in. It's over. Stay back. And we're safe. Through. Right, we gotta hurry. Yeah. I'll take care of you. Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? 
Never in doubt. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much. Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. Sometimes it is, but I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family, a real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout.
lazy body. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. Sure hope not. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Get him! Let's go. Let us through, or else. <laughs> <laughs> Best do it right. Go on!
be careful. Get him! Very good. Careful. Then. Guess I gotta. <laughs>
piece of cake. Steady. And we're safe. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine, shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? And amid this growing hostility, many believe that war is inevitable. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Because I command a very good salary. The emergency shelters in sectors one. Didn't those blue tie dogs learn their lesson? I'd be on my own. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Furthermore, initial reports of 
reports confirm. The terrorists were coordinating their efforts with blue tower mm. and target the stars. Wait, are you here? Mark's like you can do a lot of good. Help the old guy out, will ya? I heard there's someone going around. Hi! Mind taking a look? S80's cruise for one. Hey, you gotta beat out one. Sure hope not. Let's go. Let us through, or else. I got your number. Finish this. Don't close your... Don't go. 
composure. One more shot. Go on. I should probably heal up first. Too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but... I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... 
I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? think about. Not a whit of generosity or selflessness. I may as well keep working till the day I die. Heard you've taken out your fair share of monsters. Take care of my equipment, you hear? Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. 
We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you.
unless you whack, whack, whack. Ah! I want to become strong just like you. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone around him really happy. You'll see. a certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I thought we'd put those days of war and death behind us. But Wutai won't hello. let us move what on. What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. Maybe a magician. 
No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? It's always a pleasure to speak with the... So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious Angel of the Slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard about a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh, quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. And a plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me.
I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> over. In. Sorry, but we're in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
fry. Just, just go away. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the Angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning! <sighs> if the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. thought we'd put those days of war and death behind us. But Wutai won't let us move on. I but I want to climb <sighs> Can I pet it? That's what's called these. I wonder if I get in trouble. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions.
Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You'll want to talk. <laughs> 